I'd like to elaborate a little bit more on how we apply now some of the video exercises to the audio workouts. Now, a lot of people do, and I've seen this over and over again in the forums, and the reason I know this is because of the questions that are being asked, is that, how do I do this, and how do I do that? Well, I cover most all of this stuff, not only in the videos, but also I discuss it uh, in the PDFs, which tells me that you're not reading it, or you're not really slowing down enough to really listen to every word I say. Now, these are, by the way, I did these consecutively in, in, with, a, you know, a very specific um, a chain of command, if you will, or, or a, a, a pecking order of what you need to do to get where you want to be. It's not like you can do one thing and then work on something else. It's like, no, we really want to kind of nail this a step at a time. That's why I go, it's the la, ah, and I make you do this over and over again to embed this in your brain to where it's subconscious. It's not something you have to think about once you understand this. This is true for each part of the video. I want you to take each section of the video itself, and then when you feel like, even if it's only three, four, five videos in, whether it's breathing, whatever this is, that you do it with the workouts, doesn't mean you have to do the whole workout. Go as far as you can, understand it the best that you can, but understand this is a learning process, like learning a language. You learn a few words, you use them in a sentence. What do I mean by that? You learn a few words and you try to use it in a song. Use what you're learning in song. Don't just only, it's a good thing to have good training, but if you're a soccer player, you're going to get some training and you're going to put it in the game. You're going to apply it to the game. How does this work in game, you know, game shape stuff? So I want you to take the video stuff and start integrating this in your workout so that you can understand how this applies in the workout and then take that one step further and see how you can apply or what practical application is for singing, okay? So as we go through each step of the video, Remember, you don't have to get all of the video done and then you move on to the audio workouts. The audio workouts are to come alongside the video to help support and sustain or betrust or hold up what it is that you're learning in the video. So slow down a minute. Stop the video over and over again. Doesn't mean you can't watch all of it a bunch of times and pick and choose some things, but make sure that you're getting each step along the way and that you don't move on so quickly that you're not getting the previous step because those things are important. Now again, I used the wheel and the spokes in the wheel. If you've got all the spokes on this side and no spokes on the other side, you're going to be a little lopsided. You're going to have a little bit of a difficult time getting through this. That's why it's critical to do this in a consecutive, consistent order so that you can really understand how this works in real live singing and practical application. All right?